Live from New York City, it's Wendy Williams. Today, it's cold outside, so we're turning up the heat with Wendy's Hot Talk panel. But up next, three outspoken personalities join me for uh, the biggest stories of the week. It's our Hot Talk panel. It's coming up next. Don't go far. This week's hottest topics in the latest edition of Hot Talk. Joining me today are the hosts of Ask Me Another on NPR. Say hello to our new friend, Ophira Eisenberg. <laughs> and our old friend, financial expert, Where Nicole Lappin. Old as if you've been here before. You've been here. Welcome back, girl. Thank you, girl. <laughs> And say hello to our old friend, television journalist and editor of AlwaysAList.com, John Merry. Yay! All right, gang. Welcome, let's get into it. Our first story is dealing with Miley Cyrus's Bangers tour. It's causing some controversy. Parents are outraged at some of Miley's antics on stage, including simulating oral sex. And Ooh. yes, yeah, a Bill Clinton per impersonator. So yeah. And also pleasuring herself on the top of a car. Now, some people are demanding that she tone it down or cancel the tour altogether. In response, Miley said, uh, you can't say I didn't warn you. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. John, what do you think? I think Molly needs to get off the road and go to Vegas and join Peep Show. Because <laughs> that's what her tour has become. And here's the thing, we get that you've deconstructed Hannah Montana, but now you're not showing you're an artist, you're showing that you're a stunt queen. Because every opportunity you get, you pull another stunt. Take a page from Lady Gaga. She showed up in an egg, she showed up wearing the meat, but when she showed up wearing regular clothes, nobody cared about the music anymore. She's not selling records. At some point, show your real talent and stop being a stunt queen. Yeah, we're very, very distracted. Uh, Ophira, what I do you don't say? Know. I don't know. I mean, I just think this is what we should come to expect from pop stars. I mean, Madonna was always pushing. But Madonna the wasn't envelope. a child star, and I think that's the problem that people have. I with agree. That. She's young. But then if you think about it, you know, like the Bill Clinton thing, uh, I feel people should be shocked that she's using such an old reference. I mean, really? Yeah. Bill Clinton? <laughs> but older than you, I don't think you should have Miley censor Miley. First of all, she's never going to censor Miley. Miley is going to be Miley. Miley is going to do Miley. And if you like it or not, I'm paying good money to see Miley be Miley. I want to see Listen, Miley twerk Miley about buying a Miley doing Miley, Miley and she's doing herself on stage. The only people who want to see it is the people who buy those DVDs from Vivid Entertainment. Let me, let me, let me just give you a Miley quote. Miley says, and she said this even before the, uh, the tour. She said, uh, even though parents probably won't think this, I think my show is educational for kids. They're going to be exposed to art that most people don't know about, especially in small towns. This is not <laughs> art. This is just plain slutty. Art is in the Smithsonian. And, 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 and where is art? Art is in the Smithsonian. <laughs> That's where Wendy is. What the art that she's doing is is pornography. Okay, what we soft did, porn. It's Cinemax. Yeah. Well, on WendyShow.com, we we asked the question, and you all, you know, should she tone it down? Sixty-seven percent of you said yes. I can tell you this. Uh, the word is, is that they're, they're not planning on canceling this tour or asking her to tone it down because it's raunchy. But I'll tell you what would shut this tour down, at least in your city, and that is lack of ticket sales. Well, so, right. so Miley can do Miley, but don't complain if you're going to buy the ticket Absolutely. and go. That's right. Okay, moving on. Another hotbed issue this week. The 50th anniversary issue of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit uh, came out, and um, it has everybody talking about the cover. Um, it was It's so raunchy that we had to censor it with the ribbon um, because the bathing suit by bottoms are like basically show up their booty cracks. <laughs> um, while the magazine is known for its provocative covers, some people are saying it's way too racy. Ophira, what do you say? I'm not shocked by it. I just think on a swimsuit issue, you should have to have a swimsuit. <laughs> like there has, have, should be a minimum swimsuit requirement. Yeah, the girls don't have on tops either. Yeah, those nothing. little Those little bitty suits are every day at the beach. Listen, those are small booties. Now, you put somebody like Candy Burris and Phaedra Parks yeah. with donkey booties That's on the cover, it becomes offensive. forget that little ribbon, you're going to need a whole curtain to cover the cover. <laughs> what do you say? I think it's odd. I think these girls are beautiful. They're booties, they're boobies. These are the guys that want to watch yeah. us. Watch I'm them. Not, they're marketed toward them. men. 
especially Christy Teigen. That Christy Teigen is some kind of special. Yes, yeah, she is. John Legend is a lucky man. You know what? I uh, I have no problem with the cover. I I could I don't even understand why it is that we have to put a ribbon over it. You're right. It's like every yeah, day at the beach. But beach. what I do have a problem with a is the gratuitous breast on breast and touching that wow. uh, that seems to be pushing a whole nother agenda that that men love. You That's know? not really a beach pose. Yes. No, it's not. Oh come on! You've done oh. that with your friends at the beach. <laughs> Wendy and I are there. Wendy, I think you should put your swimsuit uh, photo on the cover of the next Sports Illustrated. Oh, yeah. oh. thank you. <laughs> we will invite you back, John. You realize <laughs> that, right? You do it. <laughs> He's brown nosing the whole. Well, you know. Oh, by the way, Barbie's inside the magazine. People took issue with that. I don't have a problem with Barbie being what? in the magazine. First of all, Barbie started out with uh, this body. It still looks great after 150 years. <laughs> she's had many, you know, she's in her career, she's had over 300 different jobs. You know, like Barbie's a doctor, Barbie's a teacher. So why not add swimsuit model on there? No Wait, way. What, what no, say? I could no, not no. agree yeah. no. more, Wendy. There are two reasons. One, I think this is creepy and weird. I'm a guy, I'm looking through, I want to see boobies and booty. I don't want to see Barbie. I know if you like that as a guy, you that's, have problems. That's bizarre. Uh, I, you I, guys I, are reading too I, much I, Wendy, I agree with the ladies. Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition is a pervert's paradise. Which is why I subscribe. <laughs> so when you put Barbie in it, you're sexualizing a little girl's toy yes. for nasty grown men. Yes. And, I mean, what's next? You're gonna put uh, Minnie Mouse and Miss Piggy in a Victoria's Secret catalog? No, but they were. Um, the fabulous Minnie was in the uh, window at Barney's wearing some fabulously sexy clothes during the holidays. Remember? But she was fully dressed, Wendy. Well, I just, I just think toys should be not in human magazines. These are like, not sex toys. Yeah, yeah. These are kids' toys. They belong on sex the shelves. Sex toys for perverts. Oh, you guys. <laughs> up next, um, everybody, or excuse me, are we doing it up next or uh, we're, keep going? Okay. Um, have you ever heard of he's a home wrecker or she's a home wrecker dot com? Well, there are these websites and they feature um, affairs and revenge. Uh, the purpose is to humiliate the man or woman or significant other that, uh, that's been having the affair and the person and they, you literally put the picture online and then shame them with the words. Um, by the way, you don't have to pay to be a part, so <laughs> after the show, just go take a look. Nicole, is it unfair? All's fair in love and war, baby. <laughs> Two more websites, though. She's a bad wife.com and he's a bad husband.com because it takes two to wreck a home. Yes. Two I, cheaters. I'm this serious. is just going up against I'm the home sorry. wreckers. I'm sorry. Paging not the, wives the Cochran and Group, this is a lawsuit waiting to happen. There was a site like this that was up before and it got shut down because everybody who got put on the site filed a lawsuit against the person who put them on the site. You can't substantiate these claims. Don't get me wrong, if you put someone on a site like this trying to get revenge, they're gonna get revenge to you and release your sexting messages, your nasty photos, yes. and all that other stuff that they had when you were in the course of that relationship. It's not like there's any fidelity fact checking, like no one, there's just people putting Absolutely. up photos. This is an absolute way of ruining somebody's reputation. And you're not even ca taking into account if the, if the parties might have children and then the kids are yeah. Right. You know, uh, things on this site could ruin careers. They could ruin your standing on the PTA. They they are not necessarily true. Like you said, the Absolutely. fact checking. And um, you, you're applying for a job. It shows up first in the Google alerts. The last thing yeah. you need is a situation and like that. And I just this. think, like, doesn't who is the time to do that? Like, shouldn't you be instead of writing the story and pinning up, like, calling a lawyer, burning his stuff? Like, you have other things. <laughs> I um, <laughs> we we did a poll at WendyShow.com. Fifty-eight percent of you all say that it's the perfect punishment. Yes. I couldn't disagree more. Yes. Nope. Sorry. The Do you all like it? I see it's a lukewarm clap in the yeah. audience. Do you like Check this idea? Door. Just clap if you like it. <laughs> as scandalous as we are, I can't believe we wouldn't go there. Thank all Thank three you. of you for being Thank here. You. Um, for more information about our panelists, go to wendyshow.com. Up next, People Style Watch magazine is here, and they're going to show us the hottest fashion trends. Don't go far.